Hello everyone, it's me and I'm back again with another Kaguya-sama Season 2 reaction. This time we're moving on to Episode 5, where we can hopefully continue the election arc which began, well, I guess we've sort of had hints of it the past couple of episodes, but I guess it began in earnest last episode. Um, so speaking of last episode, let's think about what happened. <clears throat> we started off with seeing what Hayasaka would do if she was trying to get the uh, the president's attention, and found that she is incredibly skilled at being able to morph her sort of personality to fit, and yeah, has a lot of tools in her uh, at her disposal for that sort of thing. But in the end, it turned out that it was all for nothing because Shirogane obviously has only eyes for Shinomiya at this point, so she was unsuccessful, and I don't know whether that was a, a hit to her pride in having to do that, or whether there were actually some feelings there, but anyway, that's that was still both sort of interesting and funny to see that. <clears throat> in the next part, we had uh, the decision about getting Shinomiya to be the to handle uh, Shirogane's speeches, which led into this huge thing where the whole school's eyes were on them, because they always are, I guess. Except that they thought that when he just wanted to speak to her privately to ask whether she could do the speeches for him, everyone else obviously read more into it. They All they heard was the meeting up after or outside school part. <clears throat> And so that led to a very tense and sort of big, epic sort of thing with some amazing uh, camera shots and stuff, as the entire school's basically watching them with bated breath. And then, well, yeah, we, that was actually a really nice scene. It was too early. It's obviously too early for Shirogane to actually do any confessing <laughs> there, which is what the pressure of the school felt like it was going to lead to, but we knew that wasn't going to happen. But instead, they both ended up teasing, well, I guess us and the rest of the school by leaning in very close to each other to ask, and as he asked her to be his speechwriter or speech handler, and um, as she also, in turn, leaned in close to answer him yes, but she also answered a the question that he didn't ask with yes, so I thought that was a very, that was a sort of a sweet moment, and then led into the humour as they ran off with the entire school chasing after them. And then the next one we got introduced to those other two girls who have been in the intro, Miko and, gosh I've forgotten the name of the other one. The one with the glasses. I'll hopefully figure that out soon enough. But, yeah, so they are there kind of to, they're challenging for student council as well. Just so that Shirogane hopefully can't be too complacent about it. And it'll be interesting to see what these characters are. I did end up looking a bit more about what the flyer that Miko was handing out was. So her rules are, as I sort of suspected, regarding dress codes and, like, fairly strict dress codes, hair being in a certain way. Um, I think no additional, like, adornments or stuff like that. So presumably, you know, stuff like earrings and all that sort of thing. And also maintaining a distance between boys and girls. So, yeah, I think I was pretty correct on my read of her. So I can see how that might not be too popular, but at the same time... At the same time, she is, you know, a passionate person vying for counsel, so... Still, they should probably watch around her. And I'm eager to see how this goes, and how we can get introduced to more of their character. Anyway, I've spoken for long enough. I... Just want to see what happens. It looks like we've got five skit. No, sorry, five. It's episode five. We've got four skits this time. Normally we only get three. So this time we've got Miyuki Shirogane wants girls to fall for him. Nagisa Kashiga Kashiwagi wants to console. Um, 
third one is Miyuki Shiragane wants to sing. And fourth one is Kaguya wants to kick them down. Don't know what any of those mean. I usually don't read too much into the skit names, but that's what we've got. So I'm going to get ready, move my camera. Okay. Yep, so here we go with episode five. Just a reminder that these are um, full-length timer-based reactions, which means you'll need your own copy of the of the video to be able to watch along with me. I'll do a countdown, and there'll be a timer just above my video to hopefully help you sync yourself up. And I will be starting in three, two, one, now. I think the guy who sings this is like 63. He's got a whole lot of style. Yeah, see, they're definitely going to be main characters. Curious to see how it all pans out. What is that? She is like she whispers something to him and then... He shivers. Strange parasite. That is slightly different. Three extra hours to sleep. Oh man, that would be so good. That would make a huge difference, honestly. Is this all the effect of him actually getting sleep? <laughs> it's his eyes.
<laughs> the music it uses in this is hilarious. It does look very strange. Sees right through you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not pure enough. Oh, here she comes. The love detective's radar is pinging. <laughs> Just, wow. That was so cool. <laughs> what the hell?
Oh, uh, no. Koshiwagi is a nice friend as well. You just can't sing? Feels like it's been a while since we got that the face and the so cute. Oh, how cute. Just kind of crappy. Wonder what she's getting herself in for. I'm so glad that we got to have the call back to the volleyball training. Lethally tone deaf. You'll get there.
Like a sea cucumber's viscera. I raised that boy. Oh my god, the music. That sounds not bad. Nobility and shame both dwell in the eyes. <laughs> My days of teaching him are over. But I hope we see another one at some point. Very clandestine.
Ah, uh, so basically, hmm. <laughs> I think that was meant as an insult, but. No, she's just completely distracted. <laughs> there we are, that was on her flyer before. Oh, it's still going. Didn't even get a, didn't even get an ending on that one. Yeah, the credits ran through the um. Credits ran through the, through the end of the last skit. Did we get to see all four? Uh, I think one flowed, into the next. Yeah, I didn't realize it, but it's because the. It's because the thing where his eyes, he had the visual change in his eyes and then tried to go for Shinami and get her to sort of notice him. And then that flowed into her getting the advice from Kashiwagi, which was good seeing. Again, I've said it before, I like seeing more of the various side characters and it's good to see sort of more from them. Kashiwagi is a nice character who can clearly see through it and also feels enough sort of like sympathy towards um, Kaguya to want to save her from the embarrassment that I guess she doesn't even realize that she could be, you know, getting from the use of, you know, true love and because she's so... Well, naive, I guess, about the whole thing. So it was nice seeing, yeah, it was nice seeing Kashiwagi trying to, I guess, sort of protect, <laughs> protect that naivety, I guess. And then we had the, we didn't see too much of uh, Ishigami. I don't know, I feel like I got his name wrong. But yeah, just sort of see him, saw him briefly at the start, and then the drive-by and that same skit where he just comes by offers offers his advice smoothly and then just walks off very casually most seeing him get a lot calmer now i like it you know when we first saw him it was always the uh, repeating joke of him oh you know i <laughs> i want to die i'm going home and then just leaving which i guess would have been funny enough as like a continuous repeating joke but i'm really glad to see that he did evolve past that in fact, it didn't take very long, but um, 
it, it's good seeing him as a character and not just used that in the same way all the time. And then we got Shuragane wants to sing another Chika trains Miyuki skit, which I'm a big fan of. I do hope that we get more. I mean, we don't need to get, you know, maybe one per season would be would be fine with me. But yeah, I did like the callback to her training, uh, training him for volleyball and the way she's got this. Yeah, this sort of strong teaching uh, maternal instinct when it comes to that sort of thing. It's like, no, I will pick you up and I will I will make you better. I will make you stronger. I will help you achieve your goals. I raised that boy. That still makes me laugh. I love that. That is so good. <laughs> and the lyrics of the um of their school their school anthem. Just hilarious. Hilariously fitting. Um and then yeah, that moved into Kaguya wants to kick I don't quite get the name of that last skit. But yeah, again, just reminding us that this whole thing is happening with the election sort of as a backdrop. And uh yeah, looks like we've got that's gone on longer than I expected. Not not like in a bad way, but I really sort of thought it was just gonna be, oh, okay, school council finishes its term. And then, oh, okay, you need a new election for the next one, and that's just going to happen. And, you know, that'll just be resolved in, like, an episode, maybe two. But yeah, it's actually gone on for a bit. I don't mind. I, I think it's fine. Sort of been having, like, one episode sort of really focusing on it, while still having, oh, sorry, one skip, which just sort of drives that along per episode. And then we still get all of the other humor and nice you know sort of character interactions happening uh throughout i keep forgetting to write things down but i don't think there's anything in particular that i meant to discuss all right so that's uh that's episode five done and um yeah we're almost halfway through assuming a 12 episode season that's still plenty of plenty of episodes left. This one was a great one. Had a had a fun time with it. Yeah, tell me what you thought. What did you think of the episode? Is there anything that I missed? Please leave a comment down below. And uh yeah, otherwise, I will see you next week.